There's no reason to become alarmed, and we hope you'll enjoy the rest of your flight. By the way, is there anyone on board that knows how to fly a plane? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Welcome back to Herbomatic. Today, let's buckle up while we take a look at this row of aircraft seats. These seats came out of a 727 that was undergoing a passenger to cargo conversion. So today, let's take a look at all of its quirks and features. And then at the end, we'll throw it on a scale and we'll see how much it weighs. Let's study the balance between being light enough to go in an aircraft and stout enough to restrain passengers in the event of an accident. Right, the first thing I want to take a look at is we'll kind of start from the bottom. Let's take a look at its structure. The first thing we notice about the structure is it's got this large monotube construction. It goes from one end to the other. It looks like about two and a half inches in diameter. And it's aluminum. Most of the structure is aluminum including these beautiful cast aluminum uh, legs that go down to the seat rails. Here's the latching mechanism that goes to the floor. You kind of pull it forward and then uh, you can twist this cam. So now you can slide it along the rails. You pull it out, push it down like that. So it can be slid along the rails to adjust for positioning to give you even less leg room, make those tickets a little cheaper. That's Sure. Don't these come in a packet? Sir, you booked economy. And it's got two of those. There's the other one. Here's the bar that would hold your luggage. If you put luggage under the seat, this is the bar that would have held it from sliding forward. Over here, we see we have under seat pockets for the flotation vests. This is the days before uh, they had uh, floating seat cushions. And over here, we have a serial tag. Let's take a look at that. So it's got a serial number. It's got an origination number, I guess. A CAA number, which is another regulatory place. And then we have a Federal Aviation Administration number. Over here, we have the date of manufacture, which says uh, August 1984. So today might very well be this thing's birthday. We've got a issue of F. A weight of 70 pounds. And then here's what's kind of interesting is it gives you all its G loads. So in the up direction, it can handle 4.5 Gs, down 3.1 Gs, side 3.0 Gs, to the rear 1.5 Gs, and facing forward is the biggest one that can handle 9 Gs. And that's why the front leg is not as stout here, but the rear leg is huge. This is the one that pins you, that stops the seats from coming forward. So if the seats try to crash forward like, crash forward like that, this bracket in the back here is what's really gonna pin you down. And then let's look over here at the seat back mechanism. It's got a spring to return the seat to the upright position, and then a mechanism here see if i can pull the kit push the button on the seat see it pulls that little flap mechanism there there's a better shot of that uh, flapper mechanism taking a look around back still has all our tray tables and that one's a little crooked so they've been misadjusted or bent. Look a little bent. And then back here, you've got your magazine pockets. What's interesting too about 737 chairs is the center one almost looks like it's forward a little bit of these outer ones. I wonder if that was like a little bit of an elbow room thing. It was probably a mechanical trade-off. Put these back up. Another interesting feature is under these armrests, got these tubes here. That button on the side almost makes it look kind of interesting, almost kind of sinister. Well, Mr. Viewer, looks like you chose the wrong day to not subscribe. No, I think they all have it. And I think it was so that if the, uh, you can put standalone tray tables here in case this row didn't have a row in front of it. They had little tray tables that plugged into those. 
So this one here only has one hole and a wad of gum. Over here on these seats, you can see that the center seats staggered forward about an inch and a half from the other two. You can see it in the backrest and on the bottom of the seat. Some other features are the outer armrests are welded in place. The center ones do articulate. And up here you got Velcro, which I think was for the pillow to Velcro down like that. Uh, you've got all your seat belts and they've got little tags on them. It's rated at 1,500 pounds and was made by AmSafe Inc. in Phoenix, Arizona. That's where we are right now. That's pretty cool. And they're just your standard airplane lift to release seat belts. Let's take a look at the seat cushions. They're not flotation devices. They're simply Velcroed on. Here's the bottom of them. See here, they're made in the seventh month of 1987. So they're a little, they're three years newer than the seat assembly. And here's the seat suspension. It's the same on all of them. Is one side's just got hooks going to a rod, like a little steel frame, a double steel frame. There it is there. This fabric in the middle. And the other side is sprung. You can see how they're kind of attached, these, these little hard points that have been riveted onto the aluminum tube. As a kid, I was always curious about these buttons that actuate the seat back mechanism. And I was always wondering how that worked. So let's open up the armrest. I'm loosening this bolt already. So pull that out. Then the armrest slides back and off. And that's simply just an aluminum piece with like a rubber, nice textured rubber on it. And then there's a tiny screw that goes here and a tiny screw that goes on the back here that I've already removed. So we'll remove this plate. Here's the plate. This used to be the ashtray and we can see how they deleted it but they just glued this aluminum plate on there. It must be some strong glue because I've never seen one of these little plates missing. This plate removed, we can see what remains of the ashtray. It's pretty grody. And what was interesting is they just sealed this up with like some aluminum tape to stop ashes from getting down in there. And here's a little part that would have retained, a little spring steel that would have retained the bottom of the ashtray so they could pull it out to clean it. But the more interesting part here is a little button actuator. So if I push that, you can see how it, it's just got this little lever that pulls that cable. So that cable goes under the ashtray bay. So you can see the cable going out the back of the armrest and it routes down to the bottom to the actuator we saw earlier. Okay, let's find out how much these things weigh. Okay, you got the scale teared out and set on pounds. Seventy six and a half pounds. But the certified tag said they weighed 70 pounds. There's a lot of farts over the years. Nervous? Yes. First time? No, I've been nervous lots of times. Is that six and a half pounds of farts in these seats? Sick. I'll catch you guys later.